Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and welcome to this nugget and this series on the CISA, Certified Information Systems Auditor. This nugget series is focused on preparing you to take and pass your CISA certification exam. There are five knowledge areas that the exam questions are drawn on. The first of these is process. And to be more explicit, the first domain is the process of auditing information systems. It defines the procedures and the methodology that an IS auditor should follow when completing a CISA audit. The next domain is focused on governance, or again, the full definition is governance and management of IT. Governance and management of IT is focused on the leadership and the organizational structures and processes that ensure the IT operates effectively. So, and so effectively, we as auditors will be reviewing and validating that the organization is following its own governance and following its own processes. The next domain is information systems acquisition, development, and implementation. The questions from this knowledge area are going to focus on you being able to review and validate that the hardware and very explicitly that the testing methods being applied in the organization are adequate and that they're following industry best practices and that the resultant systems that the IT department will be deploying are in fact solid, reliable, robust systems capable of being run in the organization. The fourth domain is information systems operations, maintenance, and support. I think the name speaks for itself, but this domain is focused on the day-to-day -day care and feeding of the application systems. This is day in, day out, keeping them up and running. This is ensuring that disaster recovery and business continuity plans are in place to recover from those disasters. And it's also focused on the support that's required to upgrade and modernize the software on an as-needed basis to ensure that it continues to support the management requirements of the organization. And our final domain can probably be summed up in a single word called security, but the official title is protection of information assets, ensuring that we have adequate security in play it's to ensure that we have reviewed and validated that the adequate controls are in place for full protection of the information assets of the organization that's being audited. So with those five domains that we're gonna be tested on, the next step of this introductory nugget is to ensure that you are prepared for taking and passing that exam. The first general qualification is you need five years of experience in IS audit. That is A, a fundamental entry to get into the exam, but more importantly, it is an absolute fundamental requirement that you will need to submit projects and experiences before you actually get your certification. So make sure you've got those five years of experience or at least will have those five years of experience before you are ready to submit that final step of your qualification. Other than that, how are you gonna make sure that you pass this exam? Lots and lots and lots of study. Highly recommend that you go out and buy the actual review manual from ISACA. It's not a cheap book to buy, nor is it the most exciting book to read, but it absolutely fundamentally lays out exactly what it is that the exam is gonna be based on. And because there is tons and tons of real life practical experience that will be brought into the questions. These are not all theory academic questions. As a matter of fact, a lot of the questions are gonna be in a real life situation, given this network configuration and this firewall setup, what would you consider to be the risks that you really will need to have a very strong depth and breadth across the complete IT spectrum. So you will need to have lots of other supplemental knowledge to help you through. And the good news, as a subscriber to CBT Nuggets, 
we have lots and lots of that supplemental knowledge, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit more detail in a moment. And finally, you will be expected to sign the CISA Code of Ethics. It basically says, and I will follow the expectations of CISA as defined by ISACA. So with all that said and done, you submit your application, you pay the fee, and you will most likely receive the invitation to take the exam. And what specifically would I recommend for supplemental material for you to take and be prepared for this exam? Well, literally just about any and every nugget that's out there in the CBT Nuggets Library is going to help you be better prepared for the experiential component of your CISA exam. Do I expect you to take every single nugget in the CBT Nugget Library? No, probably not. You wouldn't get them all done for years, but think about what your personal experience base is, then go out and find the nuggets on Cisco. Or perhaps you think, no, I'm pretty good with that, but this Linux thing, it's pretty common. Maybe I need to find out a little bit more about Linux. So use your own knowledge base, what you're strong at, and then use Nuggets Library to shore up and give you the rest of the experience that you need. And that concludes the CISA overview. If you feel that I've covered a lot of material and gone very quickly, that's delivered. This is an overview. All of the nuggets that follow this overview will peel the onion layer by layer and give you all of the details that you're going to need to understand the theory and the practical applications required of that theory to take and pass your certification exam. I personally do not have my CISA certification, but that's purely because my employers have never required that I get the formal certification. I do have over 35 years of hands-on experience in IT and over 15 years of direct experience in IT delivery reviews and audits. And I bring these years of experience into this Nugget series to ensure that you are prepared for and can successfully pass your certification. I hope this nugget has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.